Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Circle Time with Miss Katie. I'm Miss Katie, and if you like this channel, please make sure to subscribe. Are you ready? Here we go. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. Circle time is here. Circle time is here. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. Circle time is here. Circle time is here. Good morning, Ines. Good morning, Isaac. Good morning, Ishika. Circle time is here. Good morning, Imran. Good morning, Isabel. Good morning, Ivan. Circle time is here. Good morning, Imba. Good morning, Indira. Good morning, Iris. Circle time is here. Good morning, Isela. Good morning, Irfan. Good morning, Irene. Circle time is here. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. Circle time is here. Circle time is here. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. Circle time is here. Circle time is here. Yay! Welcome, everybody, to Circle Time. Today, our letter for our ABC feelings is the letter I. I is for feeling important. I feel important when Daddy asked me to work with him in the garden. When do you feel important? Do you feel important when your mom or grandmother or caregiver or auntie or uncle or grandpa or daddy asks you to help them with a project? Do you feel important when people understand your feelings? Do you feel important when people give you eye contact and look you in the eye when they talk to you? Families, it's so important to help children feel important. We can bend our knee, look them in the eye when we talk to them lovingly, gently. Sometimes we need to have conversations about behavior. When a child is having behavior that isn't socially acceptable, they are only trying to meet their needs. So let's find healthy, productive ways, socially acceptable ways to help them meet their needs and to help ourselves meet our needs as well. But I feel that when children feel respected, when children feel understood, when children feel that they are in a safe place, you will see better behavior because their needs are being met. So let's try today or this week to think of ways to be more connected to our children, to show our children that they matter, that we love them and that we care. And you know what else? I would also like all of the parents and caregivers to show themselves love show yourself that you care about you take good care of yourselves eat your veggies take walks drink lots of water i was really thirsty so i thought hey i'm talking about water let me drink some water water is so important and so healthy for you and it helps your face look good okay not soda and not those other drinks but water is excellent okay friends so now i'm going to talk about our mm, is it a fruit is it a veggie we treat these little guys like vegetables but they're actually fruits they're a very, very special fruit. And actually, sometimes people take these fruits, mash them up, and put them on their face as a mask, as a nutritional mask, um, nourish, nourishing mask for their face. 
it's the avocado. If you haven't guessed, oh, look at this avocado. Kind of has some bumpy places on it. This little line right here. Um, but anyway, avocados are so amazing. They have omega fatty three, omega three fatty acids. One avocado is 322 calories. Um, but I think half of an avocado with some salmon or some tuna sounds very good. Um, they have about four grams of protein, lots of dietary fiber, vitamin C, vitamin A, calcium, iron, monounsaturated fats, which may lower bad cholesterol. <gasps> These avocados are amazing. We grow avocados in California where I am, but you know, they also grow them in Mexico. And Mexico is very, very close to California. And I'm looking at this little sticker and it says product of Mexico. So right now it's the first week of May and many avocados are coming from Mexico. But during the summer and fall, I believe a lot of the avocados come from California as the weather gets warmer. So, try an avocado i don't know if you have them where you are from um but they are yummy and delicious i really love so this is usually it'll say the type this may be a haas avocado is more bumpy some people have called these alligator pears which is so funny because it's shaped like a pear and it looks like alligator skin right and then there's other kinds, fuerte. There's some that have thinner skin. I like the thicker skin avocados. I believe this one, this one I don't think is Haas because it's kind of shiny, where Haas is more bumpy and less shiny. So, but it doesn't say the type of avocado that it is on here. So anyway, but it's a fruit. Avocados are fruits and they're yummy. Try an avocado today if you can. So friends, this is the first week of May. So many celebrations this week. We have on May 5th, we celebrate Cinco de Mayo. We celebrate Cinco de Mayo all over the United States and in Mexico. We also have Boys Day which is a Japanese holiday. So we will read those two books, my Cinco de Mayo book and my um, Boys Day book. And I also have a fun little avocado book to share with you. But let's get started, okay? So for now, we're going to sing our ABCs. Now, some of you may be wondering, Miss Katie, your circle time is so repetitive. That's right, my circle time is repetitive because that's how children learn. Children learn through repetition, but within the repetition, I have themes, I have different songs, different song cards, and um, other little different things that I implement during the month, but we have some, lots of similarities. Some song cards are sung all year long. We sing our ABCs all year long. We sing on, um, here on this channel, I sing our number song, and then I sing the, and I, we say our colors every other month. So we take, or every other week, we take turns between our number song and um, my colors in the interest of time. So we sing our number song in three different languages and we um, say our colors in four different languages. So I hope you enjoy our time together. Let's get started with our ABCs. Here we go. A. B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, 
Q R S T U V W X Y and Z now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Yay! All right. And now our number song. Let's see here. We'll sing our number song in Mandarin. Here we go. Ego Liang Sang Xiao Panyo Zuga Uga Leo Xiao Panyo Chi Bag Gio Xiao Panyo Dishuga Xiao Panyo Jan Chi Lai Jan Chi Lai Yay Oh Dishuga Xiao Panyo Jan Chi Lai Jan Chi Lai Ten little friends standing up Okay, now our number song in Spanish, in Espanol. Uno. Everyone repeat after me, okay? Uno. Dos. Tres circulitos. Cuatro. Cinco. Seis cuadritos. Siete, ocho, nueve rectangulitos, diez pentagonitos, diez pentagonitos. Yay! And our number song in English. Here we go. One little. Two little, three little circles, four little, five little, six little pencils, seven little, eight little, nine little rectangles. Ten little pentagons, ten little pentagons. Yay! Fantastic. Let's see here. That there. Put this away. It's good to put your things away. Do you help clean up? Do you help put your toys away? It's very important to do so so that you keep your space organized and you don't trip on things and you feel safer. So now friends for our month of May, our theme is insects and spiders. So here's our word wall. Repeat after me, okay? Ant, antennae, B butterfly flower fly ladybug leaf 
leg, spider, web, and wing. There we go. That is our, our theme and our um, word wall for the month of May. Okay, and so now we're going on to our song cards. I wonder if Hamilton or Eliza will be joining us today for a kitty song. We'll see. They look kind of tired today. They must have been running around a lot last night in my home. Here we go. Okay, we are going to start with our horsey song. Ready? See the horses galloping, galloping down the country road. See the horses galloping, galloping down the country road. See the horses coming home, all tired out. Whee! See the horses galloping, galloping down the country road. See the horses galloping, galloping down the country road. See the horses coming home all tired out Whee! well i think mr hamilton will be joining us he's looking at me and he's awake now let's see if it happens i'll be right back This is Hamilton. Hamilton, I think, is going to be five years old in July. He's a big boy. The doctor put him on a diet. He's slimmed up a little bit. He's doing better, right, Hamilton? Oh, he's so, he's my baby boy. He's a tuxedo cat. His mom was a stray cat, and my friend, my first grade friend, hand fed Hamilton from when he was a tiny little baby, him and his two little sisters, Jaja and Ava, and his name used to be Mittens, because he has Mittens, but I named him Hamilton. He's a good boy. Okay, everyone, so you can grab a stuffed animal or roll your hand in a ball and just pet your hand or your stuffed animal or your pet nice and gentle we're nice and gentle with our moms our dads grandmas grandpas brothers sisters cousins aunties uncles our caregivers and all of our friends we're gentle with animals plants our our belongings and the belongings of others Warm kitty, soft kitty, little ball of fur. Sleepy kitty, happy kitty, purr, purr, purr. Warm kitty, soft kitty, little ball of fur. Sleepy kitty, happy kitty, purr, purr, purr. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Hamilton. Say goodbye to everyone. Thank you, everyone. Oh, what a good boy. What a good boy. Probably I'm full of fur now, but that's okay. Always fun to hold my baby cats. Always fun. Okay, here is a poem about a grasshopper. Maybe some of the children might identify with this grasshopper. Let's see. There was a little grasshopper who was always on the jump. And because he never looked ahead, he always got a bump. 
He always got a bump. There was a little grass. So everybody repeat after me, okay? There was a little grasshopper who was always on the jump. And because he never looked ahead, he always got a bump. He always got a bump. Look out where you're going, everybody. Watch where you're going. Watch where you're going. Sometimes we get so excited, we might be looking at a book or looking at something else and we're walking and boom. Or maybe parents are texting and they're not watching where they're going. And then they go into a wall. We need to watch where we're going. We need our eyes to show us where to go. We need our eyes to keep us safe, right? Okay, so here is a picture of my hand. And on my hand is a praying mantis. One day outside of my home, it was, um, the sun was setting and I saw hundreds of praying mantises all over the front of my home. And I was so surprised and I didn't know what to do. I took pictures and I, um, I was in awe. I just was very quiet around these praying mantises and I was so thankful and grateful for this visit. And then the next day they were gone and it's never happened again. I've never seen that many praying mantises. So I don't know if they hatched if sometimes you can buy them at the nursery, at the gardening shops, and they come in little nests, and then they tell you how to, or to place the nests, and they do, praying mantises help with um, little critters in the garden. They eat the little critters, they eat the plants in the garden, so they're like, they're an organic way of pest control. They, they help with pest control, and so do ladybugs. But um, maybe they hatched somewhere on that evening and they ended up all in front of my home and it was so, so beautiful. Okay, so this is a poem about the praying mantis and if you would like to repeat after me, that would be fantastic. Praying mantis, how do you spread your wings and fly? Praying mantis. I wave to you and say goodbye. I lift my hands up to the sky, watching the clouds roll by. Would you like to say that again with me? Here we go. Praying mantis. How do you spread your wings and fly? Praying mantis. I wave to you and say goodbye. I lift my hands up to the sky, watching the clouds roll by. Yay! Okay, now we're going to sing out or say our butterfly poem in Hindi. Suva Savere. Ati titli, ful ful par, jati titli, rang raji raji pang, sujai, sab ke man ko, bati titli, every day, the butterfly comes, it goes on each flower, it has colorful wings. Everyone loves the butterfly. Yay! And now our crow poem in Ukrainian. Kra kra vorona. Dityam kashu varela. Tomudala. 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 Tomu nedala politila. Ka ka said the crow, making porridge for her chicks. She gave some to this one. She gave some to this one. She gave some to this one. 
She gave some to this one. This one, she gave none. And it flew away. Yay! And now our jumping poem in Tagalo. Tumalon, tumalon, tumalon. Sa ibabaw ng buwan. Tumalon buwang umaga at buwang hapon. Jump, jump, jump. Jump over the moon. Jump all the morning and at noon. And now, our elephant song in Japanese, Zoo-san. 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 Daare ga suki na no ano ne kasan ga suki na no yo elephant elephant tell me who do you love oh you know it's my mama that i love oh you know it's my daddy that i love oh you know it's my auntie that i love oh you know it's my uncle that i love Oh, you know it's the children that I love. Yay! And one more song card left. It's our mother hen and the baby chicks. That means it's time for Ruru and Lulu to join us. Can you grab a fruit or vegetable to share with Ruru and Lulu? Maybe you have a plastic fruit or vegetable in your play kitchen. That works too. Or you can show me your hand and your hand has pretend bird seeds inside of it, right? So let's get started. Here we go. Oh, Ruru, oh, Lulu, where are you? The children are waiting. Come out, come out wherever you are. Time to see the children. So much fun. We love circle time. Me and Lulu and Ruru love circle time with all of our friends. Are we ready? Okay, Lulu, can you cluck for everyone? And everyone, I'd like for you to repeat after Lulu, okay? Here we go. Cluck, 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 cluck. Gara, 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 gara. Cluck, 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 cluck. Boop, 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 boop. Very nice. Thank you, Lulu. And now it's Ruru's turn. And Ruru has a lot to say. Let's see if you can repeat after Lulu. I mean, I'm sorry, after Ruru. Sorry about that, Ruru. Okay, so here we go. Are you ready? Okay, let's go, everyone. Are you ready? Repeat after Ruru. Here we go. Cock a doodle doo. Kiki. Ah ah ah! Kokoro, kokoroko, kukurigu, kokoriko, agi ag ag. Los pollitos dicen, los pollitos dicen, pio pio pio, pio pio pio. Cuando tienen hambre. Cuando tienen hambre, cuando tienen frío, cuando tienen frío, los pollitos dicen, los pollitos dicen, pío, 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 pío. Cuando tienen hambre, cuando tienen hambre, cuando tienen frío, cuando tienen frío. Yay! Are you ready to feed Ruru and Lulu? Oh, let's see. One, two, three. Yay! Yum, yum, yum. 
Thank you, everyone. Thank you from Lulu. Thank you from Ruru. It's so nice to see everyone on this first week of May. And I hope that you enjoyed seeing Ruru and Lulu too. Make sure to subscribe to my channel, okay, if you enjoy it. And we'll say goodbye, Lulu. Goodbye, Ruru. See you next time. Okay, friends, I have three books to share today. And I think I'm going to share this little one first. This is called Little Avocados Big Adventure. It's kind of a sweet book. I'm going to sing it for you. Is that okay? <sighs> I'm an avocado, short and green. Here is my suitcase and my sunscreen. Do you wear sunscreen? It's good to wear sunscreen if you're gonna be out for a long time. But I think if you're gonna just do 20 minutes of sun, maybe you don't need sunscreen because we do need vitamin D also. When you say guacamole, hear me shout. Goodbye, friends. I'm heading out. Oopsie, so hard to hold this book. Let's see here. Whoa. I'm, there we go. I'm heading out. Oh my goodness, wrong page. Goodbye, friends. I'm heading out. Oh boy. Where could a little avocado go? Sorry, but you'll never know. Oh my goodness. Isn't that a silly book? Little Avocados, Big Adventure. And this book is written by Brick Puffington and illustrated by Sylvia Chung. Little Avocados, Big Adventure. I think that is the silliest little book. I love that book. I love silly books. Do you love silly books? Well, now, this book is not so silly. This is a really nice book. I bought this book a few years ago in New York at the Latino Museum of Art near Central Park. <gasps> Celebrate Cinco de Mayo with Fiestas, Music, and Dance by Carolyn Otto. Fiestas! Every year in Mexico, in Mexico, and in the United States, we celebrate Cinco de Mayo with fiestas, music, and dance. Cinco de Mayo means the 5th of May in Spanish. The day marks 19, the 1862 victory of the Mes Mexican army over much stronger French forces in the Battle of Puebla. In the U.S., it has become a joyous celebration of Mexican culture. So this is a photo that's taken in Los Angeles, California, and it says Elaine Villa waits to perform with other dancers in Los Angeles, California. I live near Los Angeles, California. So here it goes. We celebrate history. And this is the historic plaza in downtown Mexico, Mexico City. And it's, um, you see the cathedral and that's its Spanish roots. Spain used to be owned Mexico and Spain used to own California too. We are proud of our victory. We celebrate with music and dance. These are folk dancers in Phoenix, Arizona. 
And this one is two members of the Mexican American Dance Company smile at each other as they perform at the state capitol in Sacramento, California. Our, the state capital, the capital of California is Sacramento. Or you could say Sacramento. <gasps> Red, white, and green are the colors of the Mexican flag. We have parades. So members of the Lowrider Bicycle Club join the parade in New York City. And this picture, the big picture, Dancers of the Americas float glides past the State Capitol building in Denver, Colorado. That's another state. We make our own music. And this is taken, this picture is taken in Scottsdale, Arizona. Have you ever heard mariachi music? It is beautiful music, very rich with many different instruments. You can look up mariachi music on YouTube if you'd like. And this one it says, Meherle, the Chihuahua, shows off his team spirit in Chandler, Arizona. A young boy in Denver carries an, an on a Mexican tradition by learning how to hold a lasso. Look at that little guy in his suit. So cute. In Los Angeles, Los Angeles welcomes hundreds of thousands of people to its 36 block long celebration said to be the largest Cinco de Mayo festival in the world. This is in Los Angeles. We have fun. We hit the piñata. This is a little boy in Independence, Canada, um, Kansas, Independence, Kansas, making a piñata. These are children in Syracuse, New York, hitting the piñata. We fill the piñata with candies, and then we take turns hitting the piñata, breaking open the piñata, and then sprinkling the, the candies everywhere for the children to collect. This one is a woman in Lufkin, Texas, looking over a big pan of rice that she's cooking for Cinco de Mayo. And we eat, and these are three girls in Merida, Mexico, in their traditional dress, dresses, Mexican dresses, eating cotton candy. Have you ever eaten cotton candy? It's very sweet and very, very airy. We celebrate our roots. Girls jump rope in front of a huge mural in San Antonio, Texas. Every year on Cinco de Mayo, we celebrate our heritage, our roots, and our culture. We are proud and we remember to shout, Viva Mexico! Long live Mexico! Viva Cinco de Mayo! In Denver, a boy grins with pride as he flies the Mexican flag over his shoulders. And this is the end of Celebrate Cinco de Mayo with Fiesta Music and Dance by Carolyn Otto. And it's part of the National Geographic holidays around the world. Very nice. One more book. This is to celebrate Boys Day. This is by Minako Ishii. And this is about Boys Day. Oops. For the children of Hawaii and Japan who carry on the traditions, may your carps become dragons. It's like, may your children become dragons. Very strong and powerful. Tangu no Seku, the boys' festival, began in China, but it has been a Japanese custom for over a thousand years. Since 19... 
48, May 5th has been celebrated in Japan as both Boys Day and Children's Day. Long ago to honor their sons, Japanese samurai warriors flew banners bearing their family crest above the gateway to their homes. Other families hung koi no nobori, tarp streamers above their gates, hoping that one day their sons would become samurai. The carp became a symbol of boys day. Above is a mush musha, which is a warrior doll. From the end of April through May 5th, koi no ro koi no bori fill the skies of Japan. Carp are strong fish that fight their way upstream. Flying the carp streamers encourages boys to work hard and reach high goals. Look at all those carps. A Chinese legend says only the carp that successfully swim to the Dragon's Gate waterfall on the Yellow River can become dragons. One of the few people in Japan who make carp streamers by hand says of his carp, I do not draw ordinary carp, but carp before they turn into dragons. In Tochigi, hundreds of carp fly over the river. Kindergartners walk through, walk with their teachers beside the river. As they walk, they sing a song. Carp streamers are high above the roofs. The biggest carp is the father and the smaller carp are children. They're enjoying swimming in the sky. At the annual opening ceremony of Children's Week in Tokyo, the champion sumo, sumo Tori hands out carp to children and joins in flying larger carp. On Boys Day, some families fly carp kites in their homes. They display symbols of strength, a kabuto, Samurai helmets, swords, bows, and arrows, or a mush, musha doll. You see? The iris shobu with its sword shaped leaves is also part of Boys' Day celebrations. Families hang shobu under their eaves or take baths sprinkled with shobu leaves. Families in Hawaii also celebrate Boys Day to wish their boys health and happiness. The custom was brought to Hawaii by early Japanese plantation workers. On Boys Day, Hawaii school children learn about Japanese culture and food. They make kabuto above and learn Japanese words. What does oshi, oshi, oishi mean? The teacher asks. A child replies, spam. Boys in Hawaii dress like samurai and pose for photos. Foods eaten on Boys Day have special meanings. Kashiwa mochi are rice cakes filled with sweet bean paste and wrapped in oak leaves are shaped like kabuto. The oak stands for strength. Chimaki rice dumplings are wrapped in bamboo leaves and tied with a Chinese reed. The bamboo stands for loyalty. So loyalty and strength are very important themes for Boys Day or Children's Day. 
Oh, and look at this paper hat that this little boy made. Isn't that fun? We used to make those hats in my classroom too. I had some really pretty blue paper that we would use. Whether it's called Boys Day or Children's Day, May 5th is a day to honor children. Children are the future. We do need to honor and respect the children. And I appreciate that reminder from Boys Day and this book by Minako Ishii. So everyone, that's the end of our circle time for today. I hope you had a fun time with me. And please make sure to subscribe to my channel when you get a chance. Have a great day. Take good care. Happy Children's Day. Happy Cinco de Mayo. Bye-bye.